over-the-counter archery options for you this year in Arizona. The age class for mule deer is better in the high country. Even during the drought, the mule deer did pretty well in these higher units. And generally, in the early archery season, most of the focus for the hunters is the high country because of the lower temperatures. The hunter success rates in the early season will impact the quality of the hunting in December. If we get a lot of monsoon rain during the early over-the-counter archery season, it generally means that hunter success rates are lower, which means more units will be open at the beginning of the late season in December. Most of the early season traffic is going to be around Flagstaff and Prescott, but the deer populations are very healthy in those units. If you're hunting the late season, when those higher country units close, it forces hunters south and a little west, like up by 16A. The positive news about the southern units is that you're going to have a lot of opportunity in those units. The mule deer populations are increasing. The age class of the bucks is much lower. It's going to be more difficult to find those bigger bucks south of Phoenix this year. In regard to coos deer, there's a good age class in most of the units in the high country and in the desert. And the thing I like about the coos deer, the strategy that's most effective for archery hunters is sitting water. In coos deer country, you'll see deer come into that water during daylight. So better opportunities for a trophy are gonna be with the coos deer in January this year. If you're hunting coos deer in December, you're basically competing against rifle hunters because Arizona gives out rifle tags in most units in December. And the pre-rut for coos deer occurs later, generally in the beginning of January. If you are a non-resident thinking of buying the over-the-counter tag for 2025 and you're going for mule deer, you should anticipate the better mule deer hunting will be in December 2025.